Hey everybody, I'm Claire from Brain Snacks. And I'm Benjamin from Breakthrough Science. We are here at the ESA's European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany. And today's session is all about how to become a European astronaut. And it's not just a childhood's dream, but a real profession. <laughs> So, Clara, if I want to become an astronaut, what are the basic requirements I have to fulfill? So, according to ESA, you should have a university degree in natural science, medicine or engineering, be an ESA member state citizen, have three years of postgraduate professional experience, you have to be between 153 and 190 centimeters tall, you must be able to speak English, be healthy, be psychologically stable, have a high motivation, have empathy with your fellow workers and a low level of aggression. All right, if I fulfill all of that, where can I sign up? I want to become an astronaut. Oh, well, yeah. For the last selection in 2009, over 8,000 qualified candidates entered the fear race. Oh, all right. Mm. So the decision who is a suitable candidate is very difficult. In fact, there are several knockout rounds. You start with a general health test, which is also required if you want to become a private pilot. A doctor tests your organ health, neurology and vision. Next, you will be asked to fill out a medical questionnaire describing your personal and family history, as well as answering questions about your lifestyle. And then, psychological test one. A full week of screening with group and computer-based tests, checking your basic aptitudes and your personality. But one psychological test is not enough. If you pass the first one, in the second round, you will do behavior-oriented assessment by role-playing and computer-based simulations to check whether you're qualified to perform the tasks and duties of an astronaut. And after that, direct medical examination starts. Your current health is intensively checked and the future risk of developing diseases is determined. They literally test everything, from the muscle in your toes to the health of your teeth. And obviously, you should be fit as a fiddle. <laughs> The ESA Medical Board will finally assess all the obtained data and make recommendations for candidates. Welcome to the job interview. <laughs> Glad you made it. From the original 8,000, only 22 made it to this stage. And after the assessment, the final six candidates start their real training to become an astronaut. Thanks for watching and if you're interested in this topic, check out our next video about astronaut training hosted by Benjamin. <laughs> Until then, I'm Clara from Brain Snacks. And I'm Benjamin from Breakthrough Science. Bye from the European Astronaut Center. <laughs>